Ohio University has faith in Christian. After six years at Kent State and four at TCU, Jim Christian is the new head men's basketball coach at Ohio University. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Jim Christian is back, new head coach at Ohio. How does it feel to be back in the MAC? Well, I couldn't be happier. You know, I'm in a special place with uh, some special people who've, uh, you know, really in a small time have really showed me an incredible amount of, uh, you know, hope for what they're trying to do, and I'm just excited to be part of it. Now, what was it about this job and this timing right now that made you and your family say, all right, it's time to move from Fort Worth to Athens? Yeah, I think you got to know what's important to you, and obviously a chance to get my wife back home uh, was really, really important to me. But what's going on in the program, where Ohio University basketball has, has been and is continuing trying to get to, it's it just seemed like an ideal fit for me, and, and, I, and again, I'm just truly blessed to have the opportunity. Most certainly it was a special year for Ohio, and you took over a program at Kent State that had some special years prior to your arrival, and you continued that there, six straight 20-win seasons. You come from rebuilding, rebuilding TCU, 18 wins this past year, win in the postseason as well. Talk about taking over a program that has had success prior to your arrival after rebuilding a program like TCU now. But, I mean, first you have to get through the transition because there's always going to be uh, change involved. So I, I think you first have to develop the relationship and trust of the players, and they have to gain the trust of the coaches. So we're all in this together. But as I told them, it's so much smoother if they understand the togetherness, the toughness, the way they approach the game, the way they approach practice. That's what made them special last year. That doesn't change because somebody else is on the sideline. You know, those things were developed and instilled in them, and I'm just looking to build upon it and continue it. Yeah, the MAC now is going to be elevated by what Ohio does. Ohio has a chance to set the bar for the other programs in the league, and most certainly you had great success in this league prior. Talk about your experience in this league and what that does for you now as hopefully the MAC gets back to what it was back in the 90s. Well, you know, I'm coming in fully understanding how difficult it is, how difficult it is to win in other people's buildings in this league, you know, how difficult it is to maintain success, how, to win, how difficult it is to win championships and uh, it's definitely not an easy task and, and, and I think my familiarity with that is, is, is going to help me get through that where if you went to a league and you had no understanding it would be a little bit more difficult so you know I'm coming into it with my eyes open fully understanding how good a basketball conference the Mid-American Conference is. And we'll have a lot of time to talk about the X's and O's over it but let's talk broad strokes quickly about your philosophy offensively and defensively. Is it going to be somewhat similar to what we saw at Kent State and for those basketball nerds that tuned into your broadcasts when you played out in the uh, mountain time zone and the West Coast as well? I, I think it'll be pretty similar because I think that was the way they played here. I think these kids understand and are fully comfortable playing that way. And as I told them today, we'll play as fast as you want to defend and rebound. If you defend and rebound and play aggressively on the defensive end of the floor and can get out and run and get easy baskets, that's what you'd want to play. So it, it, a lot of it's going to be up to them, but they'll be Obviously, there's some, some, some different nuances for them, but really, overall, the staples of both programs are pretty similar. Yeah, it was fun watching TCU this year. Your ball club most certainly closed strongly, 18 wins. Tough defense, good offense as well. Now, moving forward, what is the next step right now? You just got here. You were just announced. What, what happens now? You know, I think it, it all starts with the, with the returning players and making them feel comfortable, getting them to know me and me getting to know them. I think that's the initial thing. Uh, getting out and, and meeting with some of the signed recruits and talking with those people and their families so they can have a, at least a vision and an understanding of what Ohio basketball, Ohio University basketball is going to be like. And, and, and again, just every day, they got to put a staff together. It's like when, when these changes happen, you go to a new spot. It's just, it's, it's like being in a spin cycle. Something's always going on. You know, but first and foremost, the players, their academics, and, and getting a handle on, on, on understanding everything here is, is priority one. Well, it was a pleasure. Welcome. Look forward to working with you. Okay, Russ, thank you. That's Jim Christian. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.